21 points, 9.5 rebounds, and an assist and a half per game. Or Christian Wood's statistics last season. He only played in 41 games. If not for an injury, I think he would have been an all-star. So Christian Wood, I saw a tweet. 41% on pull-up threes last season. Around this time last year, well technically two months from now because the NBA offseason was a little bit later than it was this season. I was making videos on newly signed Christian Wood for the Houston Rockets. And if you guys are an OG of my channel, you know my saying, Christian Wood's going 20 and 10, put it in pen. And if you're around the 9.6 up, you got a 21 and 10 player here in Christian Wood. Now, he's got some injury concerns with that ankle but hopefully a healthy season this year should clear the air i think it's just impressive what christian wood has been able to do in just a handful of years in the nba he was drafted in 2015 2016 where he spent his rookie year in philadelphia now up until detroit where he played 62 games in 2019 2020 he had not even played more than 60 games to his career. That season in Detroit in just 21 minutes per game, 62 games that season as their backup moving to starting power forward once they got rid of Blake Griffin, 13.1 points per game and 6.3 rebounds. So that is the appeal that Raphael Stone saw in Christian Wood signs him to one of the best contracts in the NBA right now. Christian Wood is making about 30, sorry, 45 million dollars through three years. He's making about 17 million dollars a season. If Christian Wood can take the the leap to superstar, the Houston Rockets rebuild is going to be it's going to be quickly sped up. So if you guys enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button. I post Rockets content every single day along with NBA content every single day. I forgot to mention Christian Wood also averaged 0.8 steals and 1.2 blocks per game. Now, center, this was his first position, first year at center. So the statistics he put up at center in his first ever starting role they were very promising, and as a lot of Rocket fans know, a lot of Rocket fans are very excited about the acquisition of Daniel Tice in the offseason. Whether or not Daniel Tice starts, I believe he hopefully will, he will be able to take the beating night in and night out instead of Christian Wood. The hope for me is that Christian Wood can return to his position at four, the power forward. That's where he played in college. That's where he's always played. Played his first couple of years at power forward before going to before coming here to Houston, where they moved him to center. So you saw it with PJ Tucker. PJ Tucker would take a beating every single night, and eventually the wear and tear is just not ideal. So especially if we're trying to build around Christian Wood, he made it known that he is looking for a max contract when his time is up. That's not for two more years, so if he can play like a max contract player, I think you could make the argument to pay him like a max contract player. So this next season, get more run at the four, hopefully, even if Daniel Tice for some reason doesn't start and they go with a different approach, they decide to start Jalen, KPJ, and John Wall all at the same time. The thing about Christian Wood this season is, at the end of last season, some of his offensive sets, some of his offensive plays were getting a little too predictable. And so he started to tail off there at the end of the last season. I'm going to go ahead and blame it on just a whole bunch of different factors. I think it's kind of a similar situ situation like Pascal Siakam. A lot of players in the league, actually, not just Pascal and Christian Wood. COVID, and also it's not even like, Christian Wood had a bad season. You have injuries complicated Christian pretty much right away. And then all of a sudden, once James Harden got traded, Christian Wood became the first option on the team. So you have guys doubling Christian Wood. Pretty much you're scheming around. The whole Rockets offense was essentially Christian Wood for a brief period of time, along with injuries, along with COVID, along with 
a new coach, Steven Silas, a new organization. So I think there were just a whole bunch of different factors. And like I said, it's not even as if Christian Wood had a bad season. Last season, Christian Wood shot 37% from deep. That's actually his career average. But as we mentioned earlier in the video, that 40%, 41% three-point, that is, to me, it's extremely promising. Because this man can shoot threes. 41% on pull-up threes last season. I'm going to go ahead and make a prediction on Christian Wood. 23 points to go along with 9.5 rebounds. I think he will be an all-star. And in fact, I think he's going to just go ahead and s surprise a ton of different people. Christian Wood is a very talented player. He's going to work on his offensive skill sets. He's going to work on different moves. He's going to work on his defense. He's going to bulk up. If you've been following Christian Wood on Twitter, you'll know he is very, very excited about this upcoming season. And as we mentioned, the addition of Daniel Tice really is only a great benefit for Christian Wood's sake. Now, I made a whole video about why I don't really like the Daniel Tice signing yesterday, but for Christian Wood's sake, it is perfect. We needed a center, one who likes to dig in the trenches, take the physical work, take that beating, and it's going to open up a lot more offensive free power, more offensive freedom, more offensive energy for Christian Wood. So I think he'll have a break, another breakout offensive season. And I, like I said, I think he'll be healthy. That was a concern I had for him at various parts last year. I just wasn't sure if he was going to be able to stay healthy for the rest of his career. But then again, it was only a handful of injuries throughout one season. So nothing to really freak out over. I think the addition of Jalen Green as well is going to only improve Christian Wood. Also, KPJ, John Wall, both of those two players are very good in the pick and roll game. And with Christian Wood, you already have that chemistry building from last season. So this upcoming year, I've got good expectations really just for the Rockets starting offense in general. The defense is still a huge question mark. I don't really believe we got any I mean, I guess we did get a little bit better because we picked up Tice and we re-signed David Nwaba. But as far as overall defense, we'll still probably be in the bottom half of the NBA. So once again, that is it for today's video. If you guys like Rockets content, you like NBA content, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Same for 100 likes on today's video. Peace.